these students are coming to our class every day. Are they learning in our classroom or are they falling asleep? How can they be cognitively engaged in the class? How can we help them to remember what they learned to be able to apply it at their workplaces? How can our class be so motivating that they look forward to come to be challenged and develop a deep understanding of the topic? I'm William Lim. Welcome to Team-Based Learning, where you can turn your course into a highly motivational team-based learning that fosters deep understanding. Do you normally teach by lectures? Come with me to the lecture theater. It is not easy to keep the class engaged in a 50-minute lecture. Concentration will start to drop in five minutes or sooner if it's the second lecture of the day. It's been estimated that only 5% of a lecture is retained after the lecture. Students tend to take notes during the lecture, but that does not involve much thinking. How can we teach better instead of giving lectures? In recent years, people have tried new ways of teaching. With the emphasis on small group learning, many are interested to try case-based learning or problem-based learning. But for faculty running their own course, this can be difficult to implement. Let's find out why. Problem-based learning requires a lot of resources. We need one room for every group of eight to 10 students. In problem-based learning, we require a room with equipment, and we need one tutor or facilitator for every group of eight to 10 students. In team-based learning, we only need one instructor for a large class of more than 100 students. So we only need one instructor. Okay, she said that B is uh, justified because antagonists never produce effect. to pray. 
Team-based learning. Okay. I think uh, team-based learning. It helps us to communicate with our teammates and discuss, and also brainstorming about the problem. It can also enhance our ability to work in a group because when we work in a group, we give a better result uh, compared to when we work as individuals. I think uh, team-based learning is the best way to study because team-based learning it helps us to know the question on the lecture that have been taught before. Uh, it, like, um, con it did not consume a lot of time because the lecture was given uh, uh, on a uh, true video so we can like watch the video first then later on the, the lecturer will give us question and then we'll di discuss the question and brainstorm together so that we'll know how the question looks like and apply what we have uh, learned from the lecture. We can also argue with our uh, other teams to defend our answer and opinions why we choose that opinion and answer. And the most important thing is that uh, during TBL we get, we get to use our five senses like hands-on uh, way of learning and it's uh, it like boosts our memory and it stick in our brain la uh, longer than PBA, uh, than lecture and other types of learning. What do you think of team-based learning? For me, I support the team-based learning uh, because of team-based learning. Okay, in the group we have approximately about ten, pe 10 people in the group, and then everybody have after studying the lecture, everybody have different question about the lecture. So during the team-based learning. We are given opportunity to, to question other question, so to discuss among each other. So that's all. Yeah, during the session, we also have group group interactions, so it allows us to uh, brainstorm ideas and then exchange ideas among our members. So we, at the same time, we are actually thinking, actually thinking. So it really helps us a lot. Students find team-based learning to be a superior pedagogic approach compared to traditional lectures. It nurtures 21st century skills like critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, and communication. And you can turn the lecture course into team-based learning with only one single faculty. Institutions that want to encourage the use of team-based learning should give reward and recognition to faculty who introduce such new superior pedagogies in their teaching. They should also provide regular training and demonstrations of team-based learning. Teambasedlearning.org has a lot of helpful resources for you to make a start in team-based learning. Education is no longer about standing in front of students and talking down at them. It is being a partner in learning as students take ownership to learn actively, think critically and work collaboratively. So use team-based learning to turn your students into 21st century learners. Good luck.
Raise me up.